Welcome to this preview of Bach's Christmas Oratorio. In 1723, Johann Sebastian Bach was offered an important post in the city of Leipzig, a thriving city and center for commerce as well as music. At Christmas time, most of the musical activities centered on church services. Christmas was celebrated from December 25th, the Feast of the Nativity, to January 6th, the Epiphany. As part of his duties as a church composer, Bach wrote a set of six cantatas, the Christmas Oratorio. One cantata was performed during each of the services of the 1734 Christmas season. Three of the cantatas from the Christmas Oratorio will be featured in the Handel and Haydn Society's Bach Christmas Concert. The texts of the Christmas Oratorio tell the story of Jesus' birth, the angel's announcement of the birth to the shepherds, the shepherds' arrival at the manger, the naming of Jesus, and the visit of the three wise men. Bach treated the six cantatas as parts of a whole. He had the text printed together with a single title page, and he conceived of the work as a single composition, relating the first, third, and last cantatas by writing them in the same key. Bach also used chorales or hymns to connect the cantatas. One chorale, von Himmelhoch, from heaven above, concludes the first two cantatas. At the close of part one, we hear the hymn in a four-part setting for chorus. The phrases of the hymn are connected by brief but joyful passages for the orchestra. At the conclusion of part two, Bach uses the same chorale in a four-part setting for chorus. But here, the orchestra accompanies the chorus with a lilting dance. After its use during the Christmas season of 1734, Bach's Christmas Oratorio was not performed again until the 19th century. Since that time, it has become a favorite for performers and audiences alike, with its blend of soloists, chorus, and orchestra in a magnificent musical setting.